thousand dollars a week. Yeah. I mean, that's so yeah. small. Yeah. 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 He was a New York Post story, so a Wilford is more like a Wilford. Oh yeah, he was at New York Post, and of course, uh, yeah, they just find it. So uh, she's cutting in a fancy flat in. Yeah, it's just uh, hilarious. And it tells her it's part of the year. But it is yeah. New York Post are uh, funny, funny stories. Yeah. And it's cool. And it's cool. I'm not going to all the time. All right, guys. Uh, actually, I think they're cool all the time. Uh, it's, uh, you go to the New York Post for real news, but you know it is actually cool. Like the National Enquirer with alien body sex uh, with all the stuff oh. and uh, you have a front of me uh, that speaks and singing. We will be back. Uh, done, done, done. Uh, California's route is far from over. And we'll get into that. Uh, when we come back. 10 a.m. 640. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. If you make it, we got it. Los Angeles and I'm Jensen Terry for you live in the KFI's 24-hour Criminal jury trials in LA County will be temporarily delayed on both the state and federal level because of the spike in COVID-19 cases. The order extends the time to hold criminal trials by 30 days. Jury trials in federal cases in LA, Riverside, Pasadena, and Santa Ana have been extended through January 24th. Are you feeling a sudden and sound many factors work in a lot of people are not given proper protection. UCLA is a sob out Rahim says as a third of employees who work safe and by the sports warranties because they were otherwise short for people who work Sunday and Monday nights. Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of people who are not going to be able to do that. Yeah, it's not a lot of people who are not going to be able to do that. Yeah, it's not a lot of people who are not going to be able to do that. Yeah, it's not a lot of people who are well, he would also say that only half the workers were told they were exposed to the virus within a day of business. He says the study found factory workers were at greater risk to getting sick with COVID. The husband of Orange County Deputy DA and Republican activist Kelly Irby, Irby says she was not vaccinated when she died this week after COVID-19. The former Assembly candidate opposed vaccine mandate. Republican leaders who counted 46 year old Irby as a friend and who agreed with her opposition of vaccine mandate tell the Orange County Register their positions have not changed. Some homeowners in the Lake Arrowhead Press Line area are still waiting for power to be restored. So Cal Coast and says the first outage was reported on December 28th, but so some people told KFI News there were outages on Christmas Day. A spokesperson says heavy snow knocked down power lines and it's been difficult to get crews into the affected areas. Some texts have been taken in by helicopter. According to Cal Edison's website, outages have happened as far west as Crest Line and as far east as Running Springs. Outages continue both north and south of Lake Arrowhead, and more than 1,200 customers have been affected. The outages have also impacted cell service for most of the area. See, the weather is KFI News. Now, some business owners have had some bad luck during those outages. Just from here, he owns some big beef growing Lake Arrowhead. And so his power was restored on New Year's Eve, but he did not phone it in. Man, we couldn't take that away, we couldn't take that away, we couldn't have that kind of sales with them. Everything had to be done with them, and that's all it is. It was a long time ago, but it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago, and it was a long time ago. Because of lack of service, it took him three days to do the business of a typical Saturday night. A woman who was arrested in connection with a crash in Norwalk that killed a teenage girl and her mother has been released from jail. The woman was released as prosecutor for asking for a figure investigation into her case. Now, the case is being investigated by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office. The woman was arrested for asking for a figure investigation into the crash before filing charges. That is, they may suspect the woman was driving under the influence, but she sued on the car with the girl her mother was found on Sunday. The two are pronounced dead at a hospital. A third car was also damaged in the crash. The driver of that car was taken to a hospital and released. Their dog was injured. They are totally terrifying. The CDC has updated its COVID-19 testing guidance. Only 19% were offered paid sick time, and only 17% were offered paid testing. It is now that they said the CDC has been facing backlash for so recommending that people infected with COVID and isolation after five days without a test. Let's take a look at your ride on the 57. Oh, I was not going to be good. We got a long way to walk about. We're definitely not the dominant one. Now, South Texas has a very handy on the other side. Over there, I'm sure we're starting to go down the road on the clock right now. My name's still blocked. Now, South Texas, 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 South Texas,
I really don't. And then you spot check. I mean, don't you have to actually watch someone water the lawn? Well, I don't know if that's the water glow, but I don't know if that's going to do it. All right, so keep in mind, uh, we're by January 4th, yesterday, 150% of uh, the, the snowfall and rain, uh, and that's over the last, uh, literally over the last month. And uh, for us to reach historic uh, seasonal average, we need another uh, snowfall. And uh, by today, almost uh, 16 inches had accumulated. And keep in mind, Southern California, we average 15 inches of rain per year. And we're already there, which has uh, not happened in years and years. As a matter of fact, even with all of this rain above average, actually it's worse today than it was a year ago. And the reservoirs uh, in December now uh, about 78% of average. These are the reservoirs. Uh, it's uh, 82% in 2020. And it was uh, a horrific drought year. So uh, keep in mind, and this is what the climatologists are predicting, uh, the state will, will absolutely dry out during the rest of winter and spring. So conservation is way, way down. Uh, even though uh, the governor, Gavin Newsom, uh, in July called for us to voluntarily cut water to a 15 percent. Well, guess what? Uh, there is only a 6 percent saving. In November, very John uh, the reduction was 6.8 percent. Wow. I mean, that is bad, bad news. Uh, at, at the best, Northern California, uh, water use increased, but by a very small percentage of 1%. So the best scenario was water increasing, use of water increasing by a small amount. And keep in mind, we had a massive drought. Now, this is what climate change is actually talked about, it was recognized as a legitimate international global problem, uh, literally an uh, apocalyptic problem. Uh, the uh, Governor uh, Jerry Brown at that time called for water conservation. And in some communities, it was cut by 25%. I think the average was 15%. And I will never forget uh, the mantra that actually came from water sources and uh, people who ran the water supply. Uh, and that was fucking great. And literally, we were told, and I'm going to quote, if it's yellow, let it mellow, if it's brown, I'll flush it down. And in fact, people did that. Of course, their houses were completely disgusted. And uh, even when they were near it, but people did that. Walls were not watered at all. They dried up. People were actually using a uh, spray paint, green spray paint, to make the lawn look better. And of course, artificial grass is used like crazy. You know, artificial grass in the field flooded uh, because uh, lawns simply couldn't be watered, cars couldn't be washed. And there was a sense of uh, seeing major shaming where if you did any of that, the neighbors would look at you. And it was, what are you doing? And it was somewhat of a humi uh, humiliation to, uh, in fact, go against uh, the mandate uh, of uh, water storage. Now, 30% uh, of um, the water that's used is in agriculture. And that's the leading use of water in California. No response. Yes, ma'am. Why? Because uh, the agricultural industry, which is the biggest industry in California, uh, just says, no, nah, we're not going to do that. And uh, the efforts to make emergency uh, permanent these emergency measures are all going to be facing opposition from urban, uh, agricultural, water interests, and they fail. They fail historically. But local water agencies are going against that, and they're pushing like crazy. And here, the local water authorities have a lot of say, far more than regional and even statewide. Uh, so, uh, the utilities department 
and I said, you have to take an education first approach in solving this problem. Oh, that matters. All right, what, you know, educate people? How about this one? Go out of your lawn. They lost your car. There you go. I've never taught you everything you need to know. How's that for education? And the downside is it's not only enforceable, even though they up the fine. I think uh, statewide it could be uh, up to $1,000 in uh, six months. Uh, in the meantime, where is that in the Bay Area? Uh, the fines are ranging from $50 to $1,000 and only have ever, ever been fined. So uh, we're in the middle of the fight. I'm not going away. And of course, a lot of people are in complete denial, like the climate change issue, and just wait until it's completely where I want. Uh, isn't that funny? So, so yeah, uh, a story about a guy named Cleet Keller. And this is one of the uh, people that was there on January 6th, and he has a unique story uh, that I want to share with you. Uh, that's kind of right. KFI AM 640, let's check in with you. The Capitol Police Chief is set to testify before a Senate committee today ahead of tomorrow's riot anniversary. He says his agency is fully prepared and in a better situation to secure the building this time. Former President Trump has canceled a new conference for tomorrow. He had hoped to hold it during the Capitol scheduled prayer service, marking one year since the building was attacked. He blames the move on the House Committee investigating the riot. And there's a new way fans can honor Betty White on what would have been her 100th birthday. Did you take a local animal shelter, donate five bucks on January 17th? The TV star and animal lover was known for her charitable work. She died last Friday at the age of 99. We've got your job with DKFI in the sun. We have a life force uh, water protection system in our house. Absolutely. Uh, the, the, the reason is, uh, first of all, the whole house system, which means that every single faucet in the house produces this fresh, clean, great tasty water. And uh, the system, and why the system connects directly to your plumbing from the outside, reduces chemicals, hard water problems. Uh, you don't have to buy bottled water again. And it certainly tastes the difference when you drink and cook with water. Now, what you're getting effectively is bottled water flowing out of every faucet in your home. Uh, you're cooking dishes, clothes, with bottled water, uh, flowing water. The skin and hair will feel a little different in the shower. No maintenance of any kind. Once installed, you're done, you can forget about it except in getting the water. So uh, call the life source water people and speak with uh, one of the professional service teams. Uh, and no, no middleman. Life source water direct after service situation expertise. Call 800-334-5009, 800-334-5009, Life Source Water, Taste and Feel the Day. Uh, you love cars. Come see Sweet Ride for a great cause at the Slave to Nothing Foundation Cruising to Freedom Car Show and Cruise, supported by in and out Burger. All money raised helps fund human trafficking. It's Saturday, January 15th, 3 to 7 p.m. at the OC Fair and Event Center. Don't miss it. Check out weather from KFI. Sunny today, the top of the 60s for right at 70. This report is brought to you by In-N-Out Burger. The West Side Drive on the 91 is going to just have a time on Cougies uh, real fast. The York and the uh, West Side 91 has broken into the Boulevard before Imperial. This time to look at it, it's only the two lights that are blocked down. It's not too bad because it's not. So it's starting to clear, but the West 91, it still stops from before the 71. Great news for Dinosaur. He's just flew over this. Down 57 is way up all the way to the Boulevard. Really jammed coming away from the bird. That's that grinding. But I think it's fine. I think it's safe with the freeway. And the one that we're headed back to, boy, we're showing up. Amy Carson, South Florida Mountains, Vermont. Only one line left in there. Back up through Frank Dunn. 105, South Florida 10, South Florida 5, getting busy. But I'll catch it there. It's here in that. And this is Triple One. Triple Water.com. Jeff Bond. AFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Unbound.org. The Unbound is the only people across the world facing the pressure of global warming. The Unbound is the only people across the world facing the pressure of global warming. The Unbound is the only people across the world facing the pressure of global Continue their dream of education or drop out to help their family put food on the table. You can help change their future in a single moment. See how far your support can go at unbound.org. Bonnie Long has heard the news. Features for Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available. They help keep your immunity strong and help keep you and others protected against COVID-19 and its variants. 
Visit MyTurn.com to find out if you're eligible and to find a booster near you. Let's keep each other safer and healthier this winter. Get your booster, and don't forget to get your flu shot, too. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Hey guys, Conway here. The only thing that easier than making a New Year's resolution and instantly forgetting about it is donating your old vehicle to Cars for Kids. Your time to Cars for Kids will take about two minutes with a quick call to 1877-CARS-FOR-KIDS or visit carsforkids.org. They guarantee quick, free pick up of your car and they'll take care of all the paperwork so you don't have to. Plus, you're going to get a tax deduction and a voucher for a three-day two-night health health stay.
right wing organization, the Proud Boys, the Cancer Centers, um, the Premier groups, but uh, the, the reality is that most of those attackers uh, work. And there's a story uh, about one guy, and uh, it sort of is unique in its own way, but at the same time, uh, actually, uh, the pattern emerges uh, about where he was, what he did, his thinking, etc. His name is uh, Chris Keller. And uh, if you look at video, there he is, explaining uh, uh, F. Nancy Pelosi, F. Chuck Schumer, and he was like a bunch of other writers, uh, the hat embroidered with uh, President Trump's name, the sunglasses, the handkerchief pulled over his beard, so he didn't recognize the problem is, he's six foot six. Uh, so he towers over everybody else. And he wore a navy blue coat with USA emblazoned on the back. Okay, a lot of people did that. He was official US student Olympic player. He was uh, an Olympic champion, two gold medals. So how does a guy like that, and the average age incidentally, uh, which he is 39 years old, so uh, what, what's going on with him and others? Now, when you talk about uh, the, the true interruption, I would say uh, uh, not a lot of attackers on democracy and uh, deciding that, that if they don't like the way government works, they don't like the way we elect our officials, the real attack. We will actually destroy as many institutions as we can, and we'll destroy the U.S. Capitol, which had uh, not been attacked since uh, the War of 1812 by the Brits, and the Brits were enemies at the time. First time in the history of the United States where Americans attacked their own capital. Uh, and uh, just a world-class swimmer who pled guilty to accepting an official proceeding before Congress, and he is now uh, cooperating with the government. And so why did he get from a normal life to where he ends up literally getting in a fight with the Capitol Police attacking the building and effectively saying, we'll decide how the government works. School election. By the way, they're not school anyway, so uh, you can't use the word school election when a Democrat means it is Biden election. And uh, uh, he is, uh, is sort of one of the ones that uh, were, I would argue, the most dangerous. But the point of this is he's not a member of any of these radical groups, which most of the people there, according to the FBI and federal officials, were not. Uh, clearly upset uh, with the U.S. government, the way Americans, uh, the way America is going. Uh, wanted to change it with violence, no problem with that. But there was just these deep, deep grievances. And we've reached a point, and uh, he is the symbol of this, where you have, uh, I'd say, fairly normal, if you want to call them that, uh, Americans who are so disappointed with our election officials, they're willing to commit violence. And usually those are just a few crazy people. Uh, now, uh, there's a whole group of Americans who feel that way. We just had a survey where, uh, I forgot what, 27% of Americans in some way or another think that violence is justified against the government. So if you don't like the way the government works, if you think elections are real, if you think some way that uh, the Democrats uh, are in cooperation with the FBI, actually set up the attack on the Capitol. Uh, it wasn't Republicans who did it. It was Democrats that were masquerading as Republicans just to blame the Republicans. I mean, it's got, we never, we've never seen this before. Uh, and it is uh, obviously very troubling. And that's the argument of attack on democracy. And I think that is a legitimate argument. If you don't like the way we've elected a president, a congressperson, a senator, then you attack the institution with violence. Don't just vote them out next time out. You do it with violence. And I think the big story here is these are Americans who heretofore would never do this, but the grievances run so deep. Uh, the Internet is providing so much misinformation 
you know, most Republican Congress uh, men and women and uh, senators will not admit that the election was not rigged. Now, they won't say it is rigged, but they will never say uh, it was simply a free election. What we're getting among uh, a couple of senators is, do you think the election was rigged? All I can tell you is Joe Biden is our president. <laughs> it was rigged. All I can tell you is Joe Biden is strong as our president, and uh, I understand he is. Legislators. Tomorrow we're going to do a lot more on this, but I just wanted to bring you uh, the anomaly here. And the anomaly is those who uh, were members of organized white supremacist super conservative uh, groups uh, who and, uh, do are in favor of and commit violence. Uh, too many just everyday Americans who are really upset with the government attacking the Capitol. Think that's scary? Oh, I don't know. Coming up, U.S. troops define uh, the vaccine order and the mandate. Very different animal when you're talking about the military. I'll share that with you when we come back. KFI AM 640, let's check with uh, Jennifer jones Lee. California yeah. Republican Congressman Mike Garcia says L.A. County DA George Gascon must resign. Garcia says Gascon's policies favor the criminal over the people impacted by the crime. Yeah. Garcia told Fox Business Gaston's latest program that moves juvenile felons from jail to rehab will lead to more crime on the street. Gaston has said his progress programs work and the voters appreciate his new reforms. News is brought to you by Pure Again Water. New water restrictions in the state have been given the thumbs up. People will not be able to water their lawns for 48 hours after rainstorms or let their sprinklers run onto the sidewalk. The new rules were adopted yesterday and could take effect as soon as the end of the month. Those who do not comply could face a $500 fine. The rules come as the state falls short of Governor Newsom's goal for a 15% decrease in water use. Even though December was very wet, water officials say there's no guarantee rain will continue through the winter. Deborah Mark, KFI News. Well, the red carpet and live audience have been scrapped for this year's Golden Globe Awards. A report from Variety says no celebrities agreed to walk the red carpet for the event. An organizer say the audience was canceled because of COVID-19 concerns. The award show is scheduled to be held Sunday in Beverly Hills. LA County Supervisor Catherine Barger says she has tested positive for COVID-19. Barger says her symptoms are similar to a cold and she's currently in isolation. She says like many people in the county, she struggles to find a COVID test in the area. An official say a fire that burned about a million acres in Northern California last summer was started by a PG&E power line. The State Department of Forestry and Fire Protection says the fire started January, uh, sorry, July 13th when a tree hit power lines near a dam in the Sierra Nevada. The Butte County DA will determine if criminal charges should be filed against Pacific Gas and Electric. We're taking a look at your drive on the 5. All right, not much of a drive here. I'm sorry, Butte, that's 5, again, that's a 4 Sorry, go, go. Yeah, going through cars in South Coral Pass, Vermont now, before the war ends. Uh, only the car balloon is, uh, lane has been open for a long time. Unfortunately, this was a uh, pedestrian hit and killed earlier this morning. So, the car is going through Crenshaw and going east. Well, I think that's just the place from the car balloon, but east 105 to the South 110 to the South 405. It's busy, but it is still hell. Uh, South 57, going through Bray County. All lanes are opening out. We just flew over a little bit ago. Right there was blocked for a long time. It's still slow from Grant, but starting to move. And we we just saw a problem on the way down here to the 405 South 710 past uh, Firestone. The left lane is blocked. There's very little room, and that South 710 is starting to back up. We're only coming away from Florence. Once you get south of this, it's a fairly good drive down into the harbor. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Fogg, AFI in the sky. The Anaheim Ducks skated against the Philadelphia Flyers last night. Here's the Ducks' Troy Carey putting the finishing touches on a big night. Under a minute now to play in the game. Hayes out of the corner. Tries to draw the defender. Got it into the middle. Colts ball breaks it up for Terry. Terry has an empty net. Terry has a hat trick. Terry's first NHL hat trick propelled the Ducks to a 4-1 to one victory. The age of Mike Trout is a superstar of baseball and apparently a guru on how to properly cut a sandwich. 
In a New Year's greeting on Twitter, he was asked by a fan to choose between cutting sandwiches diagonally into triangles or cutting them across the middle into rectangles. The wise, sage answer according to Trout, quote, no final decision. You'd be leaving experiences on the table, bro. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. It's a new year, Southern California. Are you planning another year of dead grass and mowing and watering? Make 2022 green and worry-free with your local leader in turf, Tough Turtle Turf. Erase the labor-intensive work, high water bills, and struggle, and enjoy a lush green worry-free yard with a limited lifetime warranty. Durable and trusted Tough Turtle Turf will transform your living space and add extra room for your family to enjoy. Let our design specialists create a beautiful new space this year. Pet friendly and kid friendly, your entire family will create new memories together for years to come. This is the year to transform your yard from eyesore to oasis. For a limited time, get your new yard with zero down, zero interest for 12 months. Call now, 888-665-2661 or visit toughturtleturf.com today. The leaders in turf. Approved by the county to with any other offers. New customers all by some restrictions apply. Or see website for details. Explainers 131 CSLB number 107 so now weather from KFI, a sunny day ahead and warmer than we've had, as will be in the 60s to right at 70, and we could see the low 70s by tomorrow. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. Neo U is the game changing fitness app with real-time coaching, daily live workouts with friends, and thousands of on-demand classes like strength, boot camp, yoga, and more. And right now, Neo U has an offer too good to miss. Get a 50% lifetime discount and pay just $3.99 per month when you sign up by January 31st. That's a lifetime 50% discount on your Neo U subscription, plus a 60-day free trial to kickstart your 2022 fitness routine. Get started now at neoufitness.com. That's neoufitness.com. I'm Susan Owen, managing partner at Owen Patterson and Owen. People are impacted every day by the negligence of others. From the Aliso Canyon gas leak, where our burn settled nearly 4,000 cases, to the thousands tragically impacted by the Las Vegas shooting, where we recovered millions for victims and families. Serious cases requiring expertise, reputation, and success. We're covering over $10 billion for accident victims. If you have been injured, call Owen Patterson and Owen. 888-OPO-WIN. And we do. Go to opiolaw.com. If you thought you missed the lowest mortgage rates in history, you're in luck because they're back. Mortgage rates are near historic lows again. So if you have a mortgage, refinance it and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Network Capital Funding is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Are. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money with our unique process that's fast, simple, and secure. Our 15-year fixed rate is 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Second chances don't come often, and you may never see these rates again. So refinance it and forget it. That's a 15-year fixed rate at 1.875%. Yes, 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIT. As in home run, call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1448. Oh. Bill Handel on a Wednesday morning, uh, January 5th. Tomorrow, of course, uh, a year to the day of uh, the insurrection on the U.S. Capitol. And uh, I did one story uh, about an individual, uh, an Olympic swimmer who uh, became part of the crowd. And he represents a huge part of, uh, matter of fact, the majority of the crowd, not members of those groups. The supremacist groups, the super fundamentalist white right wing group, just like a normal guy who just had a lot of grievances with uh, the government, and uh, was an avid uh, internet uh, misinformation reader. Uh, now, uh, one of the big issues uh, that a lot of people are upset about is uh, the vaccine mandate. Uh, he, and, and a lot of people are saying they're not against vaccines, they've been vaccinated. They just don't want to be told by the government that they have to take a vaccine. Incidentally, uh, so far all those lawsuits have failed. 
and they will continue to fail. And uh, last Supreme Court decision regarding mandates back in 1904, when it had to do with a smallpox uh, vaccination, and the court said, yeah, too bad. You know, the public health authorities have the ability to mandate, and that, that's still uh, the precedent. So uh, it's, there are all kinds of levels of those who uh, don't believe that the mandate uh, should even be in existence, the government mandate. Uh, a lot of workers, uh, healthcare workers, where you have hospitals that are now just uh, throwing out uh, the mandate because they need workers for hey, hey, etc. Well, there's one group of people, that's a very small group, uh, this is the U.S. military, which has uh, a 97% uh, successful vaccine rate, mm. right, which is insanely high. Since the military has a couple of million people, mm. so they're still talking to thousands of uh, people in the military that just, mm -mm, not going to vaccinate, uh, I refuse, for all the reasons mm. asking for medical attention, uh, which for the most part uh, aren't coming through, or religious mm. exemptions, which I've always wondered, uh, all you have to do is appeal.